Joining me now is Crystal Knight, former Democratic statewide political director for the 2018 U.S. Senate campaign in Tennessee. She knows Representative Gloria Johnson very well. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, so do you think that I'm being unfair here in the way that I am characterizing this as a huge political gold mine for these three, as opposed to being victims, as many in the media portrayed it? Well, I think, you know, the fact that you're giving them free airspace, thank you, because they absolutely need to be lauded for their efforts and what they did in the state of Tennessee. I think the second thing is they should absolutely capitalize on this situation. Marsha Blackburn deserves to have a credible component or a credible opponent run against her in the upcoming election. And Gloria Johnson is absolutely the person to do it. She has been a fighter for the folks in East Tennessee and Knoxville, the district that she represents. And considering the amount of media attention that she's had, the amount amount of fundraising that she's been able to raise over the last couple of months, she should absolutely be able right. to mount a formidable campaign against a Republican candidate like Marsha Blackburn and go forward and hopefully win in the November yeah. election. I'm not making any judgment about who should win the election, whether she's a good candidate, not a good candidate. All I'm saying is that there was this moment where the Tennessee Three, as they were called, were being portrayed as kind of victims, right? And the reality is, and I think you agree with me, that this was a huge political opportunity for them. This ended up being the best thing that ever happened to all three of them politically. Is that fair? Well, I think it's fair, but I also think what we have to recognize is that the Tennessee GOP, they miscalculated their, their reach by doing this, you know, potential expulsion, That's trying true. to silence people that duly elected these three people and put them in office in the state capitol in Nashville, and it backfired. It did. So ultimately, it did. they misplayed their hand, and, you know, they made three heroes out of a, of a, of a potential, you know, power play. Yeah, no, I, I think that's absolutely right uh, in the GOP uh, misplaying its hand here. Um, but I guess I just look back on the coverage and everyone mm -hmm. sort of talking about them it, it, with sort of victimhood in mind, the poor, and I said at the time, this is going to be the best thing that ever happened to them. And I think in retrospect it was because all of their uh, political fortunes seems to have uh, risen as a result of this incident. And not only did they not suffer, but they benefited enormously, right? Well, I think the fact that we're having this segment right now, yeah. you've opened it up with a long intro, is evident of their star power. <laughs> it's evident of why this story remains to be important. It's also evident that you're giving it, you know, segment attention when you absolutely have the opportunity to interview and decide what you want to talk about. And so we can talk about the liberal media giving them much attention, but many conservative media has also given them attention because, again, this was an attack on democracy. And we're, we're really away from the actual core of the issue, which is gun reform. Instead, we're talking about three people who decided to stand up for nine people in the state of Tennessee, in Nashville, that were killed, talking about how they're celebrities, but really the victims and the victims' families is who this media attention should be focused on. Well, isn't, and gun reform. But isn't, isn't a more important core issue, I and mean, it goes A, the victims, but shouldn't it be then B, the police? Shouldn't they be the second ones we talk about? Well, I mean, listen, you just highlighted the three police officers who absolutely went in and helped save um, and, and take down yeah. the gunmen. And so I think that's absolutely a point that should be made. It's important. But ultimately, gun reform is the core issue, which is why the three of them interrupted the session on the Tennessee yeah. House floor, talking about what the governor is going to do. Remember, Tennessee is a state that has permitless carry. And so when we think about the issues and the policies that are put forth in our state, these are things things that are challenges for many of the voters, many of the people across the state of Tennessee. And again, the issue should be about gun reform and not about who stands yeah. up for it. But ultimately, because the Tennessee Three did, now the attention is on them and what happens next. And I guess I think it should be on good policing uh, as well. Uh, Crystal Knight, thank you very much for coming on the program. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.